All right. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. Hey, everyone. My name is Andrew Dolosky. Uh, I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft, guiding our large enterprise commercial customers and migrating to and innovating in the Azure cloud. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can innovate across your hybrid and multi-cloud environments using Azure Arc. Um, so while every business has different growth and innovation path, their common interests and concerns spanning from supporting new product innovation uh, all the way to managing risks. Uh, for instance, many leaders are excited to evolve products as a service, business models. Others want to use all their data wherever it is and turn into new products and services. Uh, on the application development side, many of you want to speed innovation regardless of where your app runs, on-prem, multi-cloud, edge, uh, and nearly everyone wants to tap into AI or IoT to improve operations. Uh, and lastly, every conversation includes a discussion on how cloud can help meet evolving regulatory and compliance requirements and manage risk. Uh, CIOs and CISOs especially want to know their risks are managed by securing and governing their, digi their digital estate, not just their cloud resources. Uh, supporting all this requires Azure. Uh, Microsoft's mission statement is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And to achieve that, we envision Azure as the world's computer. Customers look to us to provide an ubiquitous computing platform and infrastructure that must span from cloud to edge to ensure all organizations can bring all workloads to Azure. If you reflect back on the customer aspirations of the previous slide, uh, what's common is that customers are looking to cloud technologies architectures and patterns to drive innovation and growth. They want consistency, and yet it needs to fit within their existing investments and requirements. From be the beginning of Azure, we've embodied the principles of flexibility and choice, meeting customers where they are in terms of the cloud, whether hybrid, multi-cloud, cloud native, um, across the entire spectrum. Uh, as we observe the journey customers are on, the evolution to cloud is only becoming more clear as more and more customers transform their businesses from public cloud to their own data centers to IoT and Edge. We're moving, we're moving beyond talking about intelligent cloud uh, and intelligent Edge in distinct places and shifting our approach to address the customer's needs uh, to deploy, manage, and operate workloads across cloud and Edge collectively and consistently with Azure tools and services. This worldview of Azure as the world's computer aims to help simplify how customers think about their journey and engage with Azure. So to deliver on this vision, uh, there are several key capabilities. So it starts with the infrastructure and all the services we provide to support all these workloads. So whether for traditional core workloads, business critical database workloads requiring high levels of performance or cloud native applications needing ARM-based systems to reduce cost and energy consumption, uh, Azure provides the platform needed. Uh, with uh, layered data and AI capabilities, Azure enables customers to adapt in real time, adds layers of intelligence to applications, um, unlock fast and predictive insights, govern data wherever it resides. Uh, and through the developer experience, Azure provides the most complete tools and services to help developers and operations go quickly and safely from idea to code, code to cloud, and cloud to the world. A complete cloud platform must have operations built in where security, identity, and governance um, are maintained even while providing customers with flexibility and choice. And it isn't just public cloud, it's cloud to edge and multi-cloud. So beyond public Azure, customers can bring Azure services to other clouds, their data centers, offices, and even the most remote environments, expanding all the way to the device. Uh, so we wanted to bring the value of cloud operations and architecture to any infrastructure, uh, which makes your cloud edge ecosystem simple, flexible, and secure. This is why we build Azure Arc. So Azure Arc is a bridge that extends Azure platform so you can build applications and services with the flexibility to run across data centers, edge, and multi-cloud. It provides consistent development operations, security model for both new and existing applications, uh, use the same tools, same security and governance technologies to create and manage application resources. Uh, just like in our data centers, a subset of Azure services for application data and AI are there to use on both new and existing hardware, virtualization, Kubernetes platforms, IoT devices, integrated systems. Uh, our goal is to simplify the complexity you face when building applications and services uh, you use to run your business across cloud and edge. We do this by standardizing the way applications are built, deployed, and managed 
a common set of tools and experiences. You can be confident investing in, in Azure, knowing that if your regulations change, competition changes, whether you're using existing or new infrastructure, uh, whatever the reason, you can scale and extend your investments to wherever they are needed. Um, that's why we're working to bring Azure Platform to all those places. In that way, they can meet a broad range of requirements and infrastructure for those applications to run on. So th this is our portfolio of capabilities um, that supports hybrid and multi-cloud strategy. So it starts with Azure Arc. Uh, Azure Arc enables you to standardize visibility, operations, and compliance across a wide range of resources and locations by extending the Azure control plane uh, into those. So right from Azure, you can easily organize, govern, secure Windows, Linux, SQL Server, other database platforms, Kubernetes clusters across all these, all these uh, environments. Uh, you can build Azure consistent new cloud infrastructure in your own data center with Azure Stack HCI. You can modernize your data center uh, and run cloud native applications on premise while taking advantage of existing investments uh, and meeting regulatory compliance. You can extend AI to edge devices with Azure IoT. You can run machine learning and advanced analytics uh, close to the user and the data. So as a result, you can gain real-time insights, deliver immersive experiences at the edge of your network, opening up in this new business opportunities. Uh, so all of this is enabled by Azure Arc. You can also bring Azure services to any existing infrastructure, including other clouds you're using. So you can take advantage of cloud benefits anywhere, such as scalability, fast deployment, always up-to-date cloud innovation. Uh, with Azure Arc, we're providing a consistent set of tools and services for you to extend cloud technology across your dist distributed infrastructure from cloud to edge. So Azure Arc helps you do this by delivering four key capabilities. Um, so building cloud native apps anywhere, uh, leveraging data insights from the cloud to the edge, securing and governing your entire digital estate, and meeting your regulatory and connectivity needs. So let's dive into each of these pillars. Uh, first, innovate anywhere with Azure. Uh, so AKS forms the foundation for building modern cloud native apps anywhere you need them. So we provide an end-to-end -end Microsoft solution with Azure Kubernetes Service, or AKS, on Stack HCI and Windows Server, which is easy to deploy and keep up to date. Uh, and you can, e you can ensure security, compliance, and observability for all of these clusters using integrated Azure services, such as Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Sentinel, Azure Policy, and Azure Monitor. Azure Arc enables Kubernetes. Azure Arc Enable Kubernetes forms foundation for building modern cloud native apps anywhere you need them. So we also understand that you have existing Kubernetes clusters. You can connect these clusters to Azure Arc too and ensure single pane of glass management um, across all these clusters. Whether you're using AKS or bringing your own infrastructure, developers can deploy apps and cluster configurations using GitOps. Uh, so let's talk about GitOps. So Azure Arc Enable Kubernetes adopts a GitOps methodology. So customers can define their applications and cluster configuration and source control. Uh, this means changes to apps and configuration are versioned, enforced, and logged across any number of clusters. Um, so single source of truth through Git. Uh, all actions are taken by developers and admins. So create, change, and delete happens in Git. Um, uh, all changes are visible to project teams and can be tracked. Declarative configurations. All resources managed through GitOps process must be uh, expressed declaratively. Version controlled, immutable storage, uh, automated delivery, um, and software agents, so reconcilers deploy, maintain the resources described in the declarative, uh, the declarative configuration. Uh, actions are performed on the divergence between version controlled declarative configuration and the actual state of the target system. Okay. And then next, we'll talk about harnessing your data to gain insights about from cloud to edge. So we're seeing customers adopting Azure Arc across a wide spectrum of scenarios from their app and data for, uh, for their app and data management. So some customers want to modernize existing applications in place uh, uh, in place in their own data centers, while others want to build uh, cloud native new applications and extend to the cloud to run them um, outside of their on-prem data centers. So across these customers, Azure Arc is used to extend the data services to on-prem data centers. The adoption of databases as a service provides benefits like cloud billing, built-in high availability for their on-prem databases. Um, then they use Azure Arc to manage, track, and govern databases in their data centers. Um, uh, 
and in public clouds from around the world in a consistent way and from a single point of control, which is the Azure Control Plane. Uh, and then compliance of new data sovereignty laws by using Azure Arc to deliver the power of Azure App and data services while realizing all the benefits of Azure Data Services. And lastly, they embrace the full Azure hybrid solution by running Arc-enabled databases on top of Azure Kubernetes service on Stack HCI to deliver a cloud orchestrated, locally executed operating model. So if a customer's workload is ready to migrate to Azure, your best bet is to migrate to Azure and modernize to Azure SQL database or SQL managed instance or even SQL, on, SQL servers on VMs. Uh, especially, um, especially this is critical for those customers who are retiring the data centers um, and also require a limitless scale. Uh, if for various reasons you can't fully migrate to Azure, uh, for existing applications, there are two ways you can modernize. So you can lift and shift to Arc enabled uh, SQL managed instance or Postgres SQL where you can get the consistency and the manageability across on-premise and multi-cloud uh, with a cloud billing model, uh, or for some legacy workloads um, uh, that are fully server-based and cannot be containerized, customers can stay where they are on with SQL Server and modernize in place with Arc-enabled SQL Server. So they can start offloading the manageability and the operational aspects of on-prem data workloads and also secure SQL Server using those services that we provide to you. Uh, Azure Arc Enabled Data Services brings the best of Azure Cloud data management capabilities to any infrastructure, no matter where that infrastructure lives. It can extend your own on-premise data center, uh, your own on-premise environment, and other public clouds, and even at the edge, delivering a much needed consistent experience across your data workloads. Uh, with Arc Enabled Data Services uh, and app modernization, you can minimize disruptions and maintain fully up-to-date platforms with zero downtime and avoid end of support scenarios. Get industry leading multi layer protection with built in security capabilities. Scale up or down based on your application needs with no downtime. With elastic scaling, you can realize cost efficiencies by paying for only what you use without the need to over provision. Uh, deliver a vastly simplified DevOps experience through increased automation with built in high availability and disaster recovery and rapid deploy. All these capabilities can run in any environment, regardless of the connectivity to Azure. And the user experience is much more rich in real time if fully connected to Azure, but it's not required. Uh, we're also enabling you to bring machine learning down to your on-premise environments. So with Azure ML, you can train your model up in the cloud, take it out of Azure, and through Arc, push it to on-premise to, to the Kubernetes of your choice. So now you have data, really, now you have data and can really unlock insights. Flexible cost structures between um, between the cloud and the public uh, between the public cloud and hyperconverged infrastructure. Um, you lower your TCO with automated resiliencies and operations, and you can also reuse existing investments with Azure Hybrid benefits and software assurance. You can also realize fully secure and govern architecture no matter where it operates. So with Azure Azure Active Directory and role-based access controls, you can simplify identity and access management with cloud-based controls. So you can decide who should manage ARC enabled resources, remove any local access if needed and provide access to systems in, in through the Azure portal. Azure ARC also supports managed identities, which makes it possible for an application on an ARC enabled server or Kubernetes cluster to use these system, system assigned identity to access resources. So for example, to request secrets from a key vault or something like that. Defender for Cloud is a tool for security posture management and threat protection and strengthens the security posture of your cloud resources or any resource connected through Azure Arc. So Defender for Cloud provides the tools you need to harden your resources, track your security posture, protect against cyber attacks and streamline security management. So Defender for Cloud fills three vital needs you need to manage security of your resources and workloads in the cloud and on-premise. So continuous assessment, so understand your current security posture, uh, across your hybrid and multi-cloud resources and provide you with a secure score. Secure, so harden all your connected resources and services uh, with security recommendations. And then defend, so detect and resolve threats um, to your resources and workloads through security alerts. Microsoft Defender for Servers is one of the enhanced security features of Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So use it to add threat detection and advanced defenses with Windows and Linux machines wherever they're run whether running in Azure or on-premise in a multi-cloud environment, as long as they're connected through Azure Arc. Benefits of the Cloud Defender, um, easily deploy Defender as an extension to an Arc-enabled server directly from the Azure portal, 
without installing any separate agencies on premise. Uh, provides vulnerability assessments, um, Microsoft threat and vulnerability management. Uh, there's even um, uh, integration with Qualys uh, vulnerability scanners without having to have a Qualys account and licensing and those pieces. Uh, and then it also provides just-in-time access uh, to virtual machines. So you can um, use just-in-time VM access to lock down inbound RDP and SSH traffic to your VMs. Uh, and then we also provide adaptive application controls. So it, um, they're intelligent and automated solution for defining allow lists for known safe applications for your machines. Uh, and then with Azure policy integration, you can set security guardrails within Defender. Owners can view and remediate and meet their compliance from a single pane of glass in Azure policy. Um, Microsoft Defender for SQL includes two Defender plans that extend Microsoft Defender Cloud data security package to secure databases and their data wherever they're located. So Defender for SQL includes functionalities for discovering and integrating potential database vulnerabilities and detecting anomalous activities that could indicate a threat to your databases. Uh, and then Defender for SQL Server on machines extends protections for your Azure native SQL servers to fully support hybrid environments and multi-cloud environments through SQL servers, Arc enabled servers. An advanced threat protection service continuously monitors your SQL servers for threats such as SQL injection, brute force attacks, privileged abuse. This, this provides action-oriented security alerts in Microsoft Defender for Cloud with details of the suspicious activities, uh, guidance on how to mitigate the threats, and options for continuing your investigations with Microsoft Sentinel. And then we have Microsoft Defender for Containers is the cloud native solution for securing your containers. Defender for Containers helps with the core aspects of container security, so environment hardening. Defender for Containers protects Kubernetes clusters, whether they're running on uh, Azure AKS, Kubernetes on-prem, on IaaS, Amazon EKS. By continuously assessing clusters, Defender for Containers provides visibility to misconfigurations uh, and guidelines to help mitigate identified threats. Vulnerability assessment scanning. So it provides assessment and management tools for images and stored in Azure Container Registries and running in Azure Kubernetes Service. And runtime threat protection for nodes and clusters. Threat protection for clusters and Linux nodes that generate security alerts for suspicious activities. And finally, you can meet regulatory and connectivity needs uh, on your terms with hyper-converged infrastructure. Uh, so, and you can achieve this with what we have with uh, Azure Stack HCI, so my, uh, which is Microsoft Azure subscription extension to on-premise, giving you enterprise scale and operational familiarity with the design and scale that you choose. Stack HCI is a hybrid, is hybrid by design, uh, delivered as an Azure subscription. Uh, with native integration uh, with Azure Arc, as well as Azure services like Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Azure Monitor, Azure Backup and Site Recovery. Uh, you can centrally manage your Stack HCI VMs from the portal um, through, as Arc-enabled virtual machines. Provides best-in-class scale and performance for virtualization. So Azure Stack HCI provides industry-leading price performance, secured core server support for ultimate enterprise security, extended security updates for Windows Server and SQL Server, uh, and built-in HADR with stretch clustering as well as integration with Azure Backup. And also integrates with many of your familiar tools like System Center, Windows Admin Center, uh, and the Azure Portal, uh, and is built um, on the foundation of Windows Server and Hyper-V. Azure Stack HCI is also compatible with popular third-party tools such as Altaro, Datadog, Commvault, Veeam, and Veritas, just to name a few. Also provides flexible deployment options uh, with a choice of either validated nodes for your existing hardware uh, or fully integrated systems. In addition, you don't have to, uh, you also have an extensive choice of hardware partners that you can choose from. You may also reuse your existing hardware if you're running a validated solution. Uh, and lastly, there are so many use cases where Stack HCI can fit your needs. So in retail, to provide a secure and modern infrastructure at the point of sale, um, get the scale and performance of SQL Server locally. Keep your front store and factory workers productive with modernized applications. Um, and even provide uh, virtual desktop services to any client uh, on any device. Uh, with that, I'll close by saying at Microsoft, we believe that we can help empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And that is the Azure platform best positioned to do just that.
So thank you for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.